On this video, we will show you how to create a static homepage using Visual Composer. So basically, on previous video, we show you how to create homepage using homepage template. But sometimes, it is not enough for you if you want to have a highly customizable homepage. If you want to arrange the element in the homepage and everything. So... We will start now. Go to the dashboard. Make sure you already install and activate Visual Composer plugin. And then I will go to pages. Click add new again. Okay, for example, I will say home Visual Composer for the title. You can use any title. And then I will for the from the default template I will choose Visual Composer. I will click publish. Right. And now I will click back and editor. And then I will click templates, default templates, and I will click Eventica Home once. After I click this template close it and you already see the elements here so I will click update and then you can view this page for example see I already have my visual composer homepage so now let's edit this one so basically you can edit these uh, elements it is very basic if you if it is the first time using visual composer then you can see this is a row this is a row so if you want to change the the property of this row you can click this row settings or you can click this for column setting or you can click this pencil button on the element to click this event uh, this element property okay and then don't forget to go to the settings reading and then choose your home visual composer for your home page okay now if I visit my home page again yeah I see my new visual composer page here okay you will see that okay you will see the gray background here so let's say if you want to change this background okay you can edit this page again for example uh, for example let's try to use the front end editor i will click front end editor okay so you can change for example i would like to change uh, this one okay let's say for example i would like to change the button takes from detail to join now okay i will click save change so it's automatically changed so for example i would like to change the background of this row okay i will click this one click row click this one and then i will click the pencil okay i will click design option and now you can change the background color for example i would like to use darker background for example okay then I will give it a background for example okay for example okay this one for example set image I will click save change okay yeah So you can play with it you can also remove it also if needed is in the delete button here thank you very much